just forgot what it was called. I really have to sneeze. Maybe not. Do you ever get it where like you can feel it like tingling and you're like, okay, go, and then it doesn't happen? My life. Okay, apparently I don't need to sneeze. Whatever. Hey guys, it's Jay, and today I'm here with another Top 5 Wednesday video. Top 5 Wednesday was originally created by Ginger Reads Laney. And it is now run by Sam over at Thoughts on Tome, so I'll leave both their links down below and also the Goodreads group if you guys want to check it out. So today's topic is your favorite underrated books. So these are books that don't get a lot of attention and you think should. So without further ado, let us get started. My first underrated book is Dangerous Girls by Abigail Haas. I recently made a review of this. I gave it 5 out of 5 stars. Like, it is such a good book. You don't expect going into it that it's going to be as good as it is. The book basically follows a girl named Anna and a group of her friends and they all go to Aruba for vacation and then one of them turns up dead in her room and it's basically the trial because everybody believes that Anna was the murderer. Basically it's this huge murder mystery and you're trying to figure out who did it and everything is just so not what you expected and there's so many twists and turns and you think you have it figured out and then two seconds later something else comes up and then you think it's an entirely different person. So underrated and like the cover does not do it justice like it looks like a contemporary but it's not. My next underrated book I've talked about it being underrated for like ever because it's just such a beautiful story and just everybody should read it in my opinion. Like it should be like a high school mandatory thing or something like it needs to be read by everybody. And it is Speak by Lori Hulse Anderson. It's about a young girl named Melinda and she has to break up the big high school party and so everybody ends up hating her when she goes into her freshman year and so since everybody hates her she decides that she's going to become mute and basically just not talk to anybody. And then the truth about what happened at the party and why she actually called the police came out and it's just it's such a beautiful story and it's so underrated and like so many more people need to pick it up and actually read it because it's such a good message and I just I love it. My next underrated book I read back in like 2014. So I feel like if I read it again now at the age that I am I wouldn't like it as much but when I was like how old was I in 2014? Like 16? I don't know. I don't do math okay? And the book is Shade by Jerry Smith Reddy. This is a paranormal romance. Which I feel again I would hate now but I remember reading this and loving it. It's about a girl named Aura whose boyfriend Logan ends up dying on his birthday. She's trying to move on from his death, but he won't let her go. And she meets a, another boy named Zachary, and they start getting close. And Logan doesn't really like it, and he starts causing trouble. And it's just, it's a fun book. And especially if you're at a younger age, it's just, it's a fun read. And there's a second book in the series called shift I think but I haven't read it yet but I have it and it's just sitting on my bookshelf and I should probably read it so I find out what happens next but eventually that's my motto. My next underrated book I also have a review of it so if you want to check it out there you go. But it is Vinyl by Sophia Elaine Hansen. I read this last year and I loved it. It's one of my favorites. It's on my top 16 of 2016. I just think it's so fun. Basically half the time until the world is actually like starting to be explained, you're sitting there being like, what is even going on? And then everything falls into place and it's such a good book and the friendship in this book is amazing. Like everybody is just so lovable and likable and I just, I love it. People need to read it. A lot of people haven't even heard of it, but I've been like gushing about it on my channel since I've read it. So, like, read the book. And also, the second book's coming out soon in like March, and I'm like super excited about it. My final underrated book is The Magician by D.A. Poopa. I've also talked about this multiple times on my channel. I have a review as well. This book follows Frank Sorello. He's an FBI agent, and he wants to catch a serial killer because this serial killer is actually the one that ended up killing his wife. So it's a little bit close to home for him, and obviously he wants the serial killer behind bars. So it's really good. I loved the serial killer because you get to like see how he thinks and stuff like that and it's really interesting to see the way his mind works. So I would recommend this book. I love it. It was given to me by the author for like my honest review and I just, I love the author as well. He's so sweet and just I want to push this book. I've always wanted to push this book because just 
it's a great book, and it's super underrated. I don't think a lot of people have heard of this one either, so there you go. Alright guys, so those are my five underrated books. I probably could pick a lot more, but, you know, top five, you can only pick five. So, those were the first five that came to my mind. If you guys want me to make another video of other ones, because I have a lot of them, then let me know down below and I'll do that for you guys. And I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!